Let me move on to the final presentation of the day that of Professor Ranjika Halwa today. The professor is attached to the Civil Engineering Department of the University of Mahatur, who graduated with a first class honors degree in Civil Engineering in 2004 and furthered his academic care career to possess a PhD in Structural and Building Services Engineering in 2008. His knowledge and exposure in many spheres reflects through the academic and professional qualifications and professional experience, which are innumerable. Among them being the commissioner to Sri Lanka Inventors Commission from April 2019 to August 2021 is significant in terms of serving the creators. He has been recognized for scores of awards nationally and internationally for his publications, books, publications in proceedings in, of conferences, including the presidential awards for academic publications. Professor Halwatura has been and is continuously contributing as a research supervisor for PhDs, MSCs, and MBAs in countless numbers. A creator and an innovator who has backed eight patents to his credit. The multifold projects as a consultant speaks volumes of his significant additions and is a specialist in sustainable material and design, green technology, construction management, structural designing, project planning and monitoring, computer-aided server-based project planning and monitoring, forensic, engineer, forensic engineering, building information modeling. He's ready to articulate on innovations, in, in inventions towards a sustainable future. Please welcome Professor Rangika Umesh Halva today. Sir, the stage is yours. Yeah, right, let me, uh... yeah, I think, uh, I'm audible, I believe. Am I audible? Yes, sir. yes, sir. you're audible. Yeah, quite right. Audible. Okay, yeah. thank you. And uh, let me share my uh, screen as well. Okay, I believe I'm, uh, audible and as well as I'm um, uh, visible. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, it was a nice in introduction about me. I don't know whether I'm, I'm really deserve to get uh, such a such an uh, introduction. Anyway, uh, uh, about uh, the topic, actually, I was given a broad topic to talk about in an uh, invention, innovation and the sustainability. I mean, all these uh, three topics are really, really broad. So, uh, uh, I'll try my best to give the real justice to all these uh, three uh, topics. You can see a small uh, uh, video uh, playing on your left hand side. I'll, I'll come to that uh, uh, the video later. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's a micro uh, you know, video about uh, on a, on a, uh, on polyps uh, or rather the the the, who are the creatures who are living in a in a coral. So uh, these creatures are really really amazing uh, and uh, very sensitive uh, creatures. If you change uh, the setup. They will die at no time. So that is what we have seen uh, in many many uh, coral reefs, which have uh, died down uh, uh, in the world and in Sri Lanka as well. So we'll come to that uh, the video later. But uh, as a, as a start, let me uh, take you uh, to a, a different uh, direction. I'm going to take you uh, to the the first ever uh, uh, first ever invention competition happening in the world. So uh, this is the first ever invention competition happening in the world, and you can see the uh, the three winners. Uh, the number three goes to the the pointing stick, the person who has invented the pointing stick, and uh, the number two, uh, the person is not really happy with the uh, the the, uh, the the placement he received. That is the person who invented the the file, and uh, the number one goes to the wheel, the person who invented the wheel. So these are considered as the the best three inventions in the world so you take any uh, innovation inventions happening today uh, i i i now i'm uh, time to time I'm using this invention and innovation word i mean they are not the same uh, there's a big difference between invention and innovation we'll come to that later but uh, based on the the i mean you take any invention uh, in any in, 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 uh, in any uh, innovation in the world you will see these three inventions will be there the pointing stick the file and the wheel very obvious i mean these three people are not really happy uh one to uh, I mean, each other because uh they missed the first place the first place person was really happy but the the first and the, the second and the third were not really happy so uh this is uh this is uh what was happening in the world history so from that let me take you uh to a different place 
uh, that is uh, a, a burial uh, site uh, called Ibn Khatur. And you may wonder why I have uh, used this particular location, uh, the location as a slide uh, uh, for to talk about the sustainability invention and innovation. Well, if you think about the uh, the days these days, I think we are we are digging our own uh, bit, uh, or rather we are we are trying to bury uh, on our own. So that's a different story. Uh, that is this is this slide is not really uh, to talk about uh, the current day scenario in the country. But uh, go back to the the topic. This Ibanka to a burial uh, location has a big history. This history goes back to two thousand seven hundred years ago. And if you just compare the uh, uh, the time, you will realize that even the Lord Buddha is not uh, basically uh, uh, came to this world. So the people who lived in Sri Lanka before the Lord Buddha and uh, uh, the uh, the level of intelligence, level of creativity will be presented by this particular location. So I told you this is a burial location. Let me uh, let me tell you uh, 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 the importance of this particular location. You go to your left hand side, you will see uh, the, there are some pots between uh, four uh, stones and the burial location was created that way. So you have four uh, timber uh, or not the timber, the stone uh, uh, blocks. And uh, 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 if a person died, uh, the, the body was uh, the, the dead body was burned out, get the ash, put that to a, uh, a pot of about uh, two to two and a half height. And uh, that was uh, placed in between these uh, uh, four uh, stone uh, plaques and covered that with another stone slab. And that was kept dry for more than 2,700 years until we discovered. So this is the setup of this particular location. I don't know how many of you have visited this particular location, at, at least have heard about this particular location. If I tell you the location, I mean, those who have especially interested in uh, engineering, I really, I mean, uh, request you to go and uh, observe, I mean, see this particular location. This is not that far. Those who are, I mean, we, we always love to go to Anuradhapura, Polonnaruwa, Sigiriya, uh, Dambulla. So on the way, you can easily uh, visit this location. This, this, I mean, this is very close to uh, Dambulla on the, on the road of Dambulla and Kurunagala. It's on the main road uh, to your left-hand side. Uh, on, I, I told you it's on the, on the main road, so you can easily uh, uh, visit this location. I, I personally, I mean, how much... Uh, uh, I mean, how much I visited uh, this place before or wherever I pass the, the location, I, I love to go and visit this place. So that's it. That is about the Ibn uh, location. Why I have used this particular uh, location to, uh, to talk about the invention, innovation and the sustainability. The reason is you can see this has a very strong social cultural aspect. The people who lived in India at Lord Buddha's time, you may have heard when a person died, they get some old truth, cover the, the entire body and throw that to the jungle where the, the, the wild uh, animals came and eat the body. But the, uh, the people who lived in Sri Lanka, they knew how to respect even dead body that is not even present in Sri Lanka at the moment, even with the living body. So the dead body, they, they treated in the best possible way. That is the number one aspect to become sustainable and become a, 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 a creative person. That is number one aspect. The next one is the creativity. Look at the way they have created this particular burial location and how they were, the material they have used and how they have created it. Because of that particular creativity, they managed to survive this place for more than 2,700 years. That is the number two, uh, the, the point. The third point is the technology. Now, just, just I mean, uh, I'm very sure the people who are in this particular audience, they have played with mud. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the real mud, not the mud slugging, which, which happens these days. That, that's not the mud I'm going to talk. The real mud, if you know about the mud, you will, you will realize that you will not be able to play or rather create a pot with every mud available in the, uh, in the world, in the country. So you have to particularly select the best, uh, the clay for the creation. That is number one uh, about the technology. The next one, creating a two and a half uh, 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 feet of a, uh, uh, a pot with 10 to 12, 15 millimeter thickness. I mean, it's a terrible uh, process if you don't know one particular instrument that is the Sakapuru centrifugal force. So they knew that. I, I'm very sure they don't. They knew about the. They know about the, uh, the 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 real terminology, but they knew about the uh, the uh, the Sakapuru, the, the concept of Sakapuru. Otherwise, they will not be able to create this much of a two and a half feet of high uh, a pot at a thickness of. 10 to 15 millimeter 
with 100% symmetrical arrangement. They knew about the, the technology. And, 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 and burning, they knew by burning the, the soil, they can improve the properties. I'm very sure they, they I mean, uh, they, they, they may have seen uh, uh, the soil in a, in, a, in, a, in a fired area is completely different to the, the soil in a, in a lakeside. So they 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 learn start learning the uh, the techniques or the technology from the nature and they try to imitate the the technology. So with all they manage to create this particular location which can last more than two thousand seven hundred years and the sustainability and the adaptation. So they were they were really adaptive. They were really sustainable. I mean that's why they have used all the the natural materials, very less uh, uh, processing, and they live a happy life. So that is what we can learn from the history from this particular location. Starting from this Ibn Kadwa, let me take you uh, on a very uh, small tour about the history to start about, I mean, think about the innovation, invention and the sustainability. The construction, I mean, I'm very sure there are many civil engineering uh, uh, engineers are here in the audience. I mean, all these locations are wonderful uh, creations by our ancient people uh, and, and, and all these things, they, they try to, uh, uh, follow the natural contours. They try to get the natural materials, very less processing, and try to adapt uh, uh, the the natural ventilation, natural lighting. So they were very sustainable and very creative in construction. From the construction to uh, the agriculture, they were self-sustained. I mean, one can say, what is this? I mean, they they maybe have ten to, or, or ten to or, or let's say hundred to two hundred uh, numbers of people living in that time. They went to the jungle. They ate, they, they picked something and they ate and they lived and died. So that I'm not going to believe. So you uh, you uh, think about the structures they have done. I'm very sure this Andhradapur Purunar area. We may might have hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, or even millions of people living. But they knew one interesting fact which you and i do know which you and i do believe these days that is they knew that they are going to die so until at the last minute at the last uh, moment at the icu bed we still think of living another extra minute so we don't believe that we are going to die that is the the real world uh the current uh, uh the people who are living in uh, this uh, this country and this world but these people they knew that they are going to die that doesn't i mean that that, that doesn't mean like you no know, they they always live with this particular dying mentality no they did the minimum harm they got the maximum productivity and they had a happy life uh, uh, uh throughout from the uh, the food and agriculture to uh, the medicine i mean there are a lot of evidence uh, to show that we were very very uh, i mean rich in uh, uh, the medicine and i'm not really talking about the the, the ayurvedic uh, uh, medicine uh, uh, which basically we got from uh, uh, the way with, with the King Vijay who came to Sri Lanka. I'm not talking about the Ayurvedic Vedakama, but we had our own uh, Hela medicine, uh, Hela Vedakama in Sri Lanka. We have long history. Don't uh, don't think that you know. Don't uh, don't try to believe that I'm, I'm a person who who try to uh, uh, the, the bring this uh, Ravana and these old stories. But uh, uh, I mean that is one big uh, mistake we have done uh, in our old uh, in our recent past. We we always believe that we are uh, we, we are Sinhalese, we are Buddhist, and we are the best out of the best in the world. And unfortunately, we have uh, we know what has happened to uh, happened to us now. But that is not the the uh, the uh, the thing I'm going to plant here. The history says a lot about our creativity and our capacity. You go to Polinaru, I mean, people believe that the, the, the archaeologists, they said the, uh, the Kim Parakram Bau is a good uh, a brain surgeon. And uh, there are a lot of other things. You take uh, Hela Vedakama, you get the, the Rasa Vedakama people. I mean, nowadays, those who are working with uh, chemical or the chemical engineering, they know that uh, we, 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 have a, uh, we have a reluctancy of uh, touching mercury. But uh, these, these uh, the people who lived in the past, they converted the mercury, right? They they put the mercury into a, a, a stone cup and they were working on the material hours, days and months. And they converted mercury into a useful uh, uh, carrier, the medical carrier. So the if you talked about the, uh, the, the nanotechnology, the real fathers, the co-fathers of nanotechnology are from Sri Lanka. This Rasa Vedakama, what they did was they break, they, they, bro they, they have broken the, uh, the, the mercury particle into a nano level or even more than that. And they knew they never knew about they never knew about the the, the term of uh, nanotechnology but they knew by breaking the 
the particle into a nano level, a, a, a small level, they can convert the properties. They can they can change the properties of the, the material. So they knew that there are a lot of other examples to show that they knew about the, the nanotechnology. So this is about the history from uh, the, uh, the construction to agriculture to medicine. I, I can break any topic. I mean, the creativity, the sustainability, the innovation and inventions were there. So that is the past. So there were a few questions uh, from uh, uh, to uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Sunil. Uh, why we can't? Why why we really can't? Uh, I know be be productive, be be uh, be innovative, be. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of questions coming. Let me tell you why, uh, or rather, how I feel about uh, this particular question. Let me let me show you a few examples again. Well, this is my childhood. At the top, the bottom is your, or rather, this age, uh, this year, or rather, our kids. Those days, I still can remember my mother. Uh, she came uh, uh, after the work, at, let's say five, five or uh, six, six thirty, and she pulled me to home with my uh, school uniform because I was playing after the uh, the, ex, uh, the the school. I I I played with my uh, my uh, my friends. But now the mother has to pull them out of the the house because they are too much addicted to these uh, uh, mobile phones. They don't know they they don't know how to experience the the world they don't know how to experience the nature and they don't know how to, ex how to experience the society because everything is inside the, the computer so that is the difference between my childhood versus the the modern child another example well i still can remember when i was a, a kid uh, especially uh, uh these the, uh, the these months are, are in august what we did was we get the uh we we try to get the uh the the uh, the few weeks or two, we get the uh, the papers and we created the kite and we started flying in the sky. So this particular process has learned me a lot how to create the the symmetricity, even how to uh, the, the the make the uh, the the balance right. Sometimes how much we uh, work on it and how much we are uh, very fascinated with the, the the kite, it will go down when you start uh, flying in the in, in the sky. So that is the knowledge we got from our childhood while we are playing but today you have a ready made uh, 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 kite rather drawn so it's a matter of uh, two joysticks you can fly that to the sky and you can get, uh, i don't know whether you'll be able to get the same experience as a kite but still it's it has a lot of other additional technologies you can you, even you can get the bird eye view right from the uh, the sky you will be able to see down so you have all the technologies but it's, it is all ready made uh, you will be able to experience it but you will not be able to learn from it from the kite to the drone there are a lot of things which have changed if you just compare your childhood with your kids childhood you will be able to understand the reason why this particular generation is not really creative the next one our parents my mother never went to a, a gym uh, uh, to burn the, the additional currency she was working and she was hard work at the at the at, at home as well so well, this is uh, this is uh, not really 1930s, but I mean even our childhood, my parents never went to a gymnasium or a gym to burn the calories. But today, they the, the male and female booth. I mean you you wake up, you have your morning jogging, and eat well. You go to the office, sit uh, with in a in a in a nice dress in a comfortable environment with air conditioning, right? And we talked about the sustainability, right? We talked about sustainable construction, sustainable engineering, a lot of these big, big terms in an air conditioning room, wearing a tie, right? Again, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, not because of uh, we, wa we really want it, but because the other, the people will recognize you and people will admire you based on your dress. So then you definitely have to be that. And you come home, you go to the gym again, you burn the calories which you gain in the day. So that is the modern day. So you can see, I mean, anyway, it's not, high time for us to uh, go back to where we were so if you really want to be innovative and creative you need to understand this particular cultural difference the uh, the, the generation difference otherwise you will not be able to i mean let's say you create something which thinking your childhood and you give that to your uh, children they will not accept it so you need to understand the acceptance or what they really need by the community otherwise you you are, you, you cannot be considered as an inventor so the this is very famous uh, uh, cartoon. Uh, uh, those days we were thin and the TV was uh, having a back uh, projection. But today we are with big bellies and the TV is becoming thinner. So we are, you know, where we are now. 
we are we are heading for right so uh, this is exactly uh, i mean I, i don't have to explain uh, the some of the or rather i i i don't have to give uh, my explanations to some of the questions uh, which was uh, given to dr sunil i think the answer will be there within these a uh, 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 few uh, images so uh, from that uh, let me uh, take you to a uh, i should not uh, forget japan because all the two uh, previous presenters was talking about japan and uh, the good of uh, japan side so i i thought of i should also talk about the japanese experience this guy uh, very unfortunate i mean i'm really respecting uh, uh, respect the guy uh, uh, as a politician i mean i normally i don't uh, uh, respect the politicians uh, the, that's my policy but uh, uh, as a human i i really love this guy uh, unfortunately we list, uh, lost him a uh, few uh, weeks ago um so abe and uh, abe died uh, unfortunately we 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 missed a great guy but this is not about the talked about the, the japanese politics or uh, about uh, abe uh, in 19 uh, sorry 2018 i uh, i happened to go to japan for a science and technology uh, uh, conference it's a world conference uh, uh, i was awarded with the the twas uh, the world academy of science young scientists award uh, in that year so i was uh, elected or rather selected uh, Uh, to represent sri lanka at that time so i visited uh, that particular conference and uh, like the the the, uh, the keynote presentations happen today uh, he came as the keynote presenter for that particular great audience the worldwide conference so uh, i was happened to witness uh, the guy the great guy uh, on my uh, uh, through eyes so uh, he was talking about uh, i mean uh, uh, he had one and a half hours of uh, a presentation and he was talking about this the tractor right so he was for one and half hours he was talking about this tractor this tractor is not the tractors what you can see uh, in petrol uh, uh, the the queues in in sri lanka these days this tractor is a unique tractor the uniqueness is this tractor or are the two tractors can do the farming while keeping one inch distance and communicating each other so that is artificial intelligence right artificial intelligence so he was talking about the artificial intelligence created by japanese technology japanese scientists and how they have that is the innovation how they have put that into the field applications through a tractor so these tractors can communicate each other they're talking each other and keeping one inch distance they can do the farming you just assume or just imagine two farmers keeping one meter distance give them all the the instruments make sure you re, you, you 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 call two ambulance ready them by the side that is the technology that is the human nature we can't i mean the the the, the communication between two human has lowered uh, very much lower than the tractors which abe was talking so i was i was dreaming the technology where the japanese people are having so that was uh, the day we had the conference the next day or the following day i had to leave japan so i took the uh, japanese uh, uh, the the subway so from uh, the tokyo the main city i was going to the japanese or uh, the uh, the the airport so when i was traveling i met a interesting family so don't misunderstand me i mean don't think that i took this particular image just because of this beautiful uh, the, the lady no that is that was not the reason i uh, let me explain you the, the reason so uh, uh, it was about 45 minutes uh, uh, travel in the train so i was sitting on the other side and uh, luckily we had only few people in the apartment otherwise i am still in the uh, in the jail in japan by uh, you know disturbing their privacy but sri lankan people they are very love to be with uh, be uh, to disturb the the privacy of other people within the family outside the family so they love to always you know go and uh, check the the unwanted stuff and uh, they uh, th that's their life i mean but the the, Ch the china uh, sorry the japan they very much uh, particular on the, the privacy of people so uh without knowing actually i didn't know that uh, the, the 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 rules are very strict there i took my phone uh without uh, letting them i took uh, uh, the snapshot of this particular family the reason is for the the entire 45 minutes i saw the mother the beautiful lady she was very busy with the phone that is exactly what we do in uh, in sri lanka as well the father it he was not that fortunate as mother he uh, one hand he uh, hold the phone the other hand he hold the pram that is not the story behind this particular image the the kid you can see the kid he was i think it's it's it, he's less than uh, one year old the entire 45 minutes he was looking the the two back sides of the the two phones mother and father and he was looking the the phone back sides and he was there 
without making a, a simple hum noise. Just imagine the technology, the powerfulness of the technology which the Japanese people has. The previous day, or the very previous day, the, the Abe was talking about two tractors having one inch uh, 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 distance communicating each other. After two days, I met a family that touching each other, the kiddies are uh, looking the backside of the two phones, touching each other, 45 minutes, not a single word. If you think this is the, the development, I'm sorry to say, I don't want to see this particular development crossing the Indian, Indian Ocean and reaching the Sri Lanka, my dear friends. This is not the technology, this is not the life. This is not really the life. This is, if you believe this is the technology and this, this is what you want as the, the technic, uh, technological development in the country. I'm, I'm a person who doesn't like to leave the country, but that will be my last day who's going to stay in this particular beautiful blessed country, not the best country, but the blessed country. So that is the world where the world is heading through. Yeah, from that, uh, I mean, I'll be able to talk hours and hours of what exactly has happened to the world and why we need the sustainable development. But very unfortunately, everybody, all from the ministry to the very bottom level, we talked about sustainability being in unsustainable uh, uh, places. You, you have air conditioning uh, spaces and we talked about the sustainability. We, we create uh, structures which last for 500,000 years and we talked about sustainability. Sustainability is, is I mean, in the, in the real definition, sustainability is you enjoy your life to the maximum, but never compromise the ability of the next generation to achieve their satisfaction. So if you create structures which which, which thinking like, you know, uh, uh, your next generation will be happily accepting, that is completely wrong. I mean, that is completely against sustainable development. Just think, I mean, whether you are really comfortable, I mean, whether you are really sustainable in, in within the definition. So keeping keep that uh, aside, but all these things, I think my previous uh, presenters was talking about the sustainability and what exactly happening in the world. So I, I don't want to go into the, the details of, uh, or other nutshells of uh, what's happening. You can see the, uh, the climate is changing, uh, the, the, the natural disasters are happening every day. So people start using masks. I mean, the mask is very new to Sri Lanka, maybe two, three years experience, or maybe one, two years experience. But the China, India, I mean, we had a lot of experience with uh, uh, wearing masks. So this is where the world is heading. Let me show, show you one interesting uh, uh, example from, uh, uh, from China. Well, uh, this is China. Uh, before the uh, the lockdown, the uh, China lockdown in 2019 uh, because of COVID. So uh, this uh, uh, image was taken before the lockdown of China. And this is the exact the same location 14 days of, after the lockdown. You can see the difference. You can see the difference. So you can see your right hand side. That is exactly what the people have done for 100, 100,000 years. And you can see in your left hand side, how the nature responded within 14 days. I don't know which, uh, which side you are going to live, which, which, which you are love to live, but I always prefer not even the left, even further left, because this is not the, the life I really wanted to have, the concrete jungles. But you can see the difference between the left and the right, the 14 days difference, what the people has done for 100,000 years, and the nature has done or regained or reclaimed the, the nature within 14 days marvelous amazing with the nice uh, 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 a single day uh, uh, single uh, image you will uh, you will be able to uh, uh, understand uh, the difference between uh, the what people has done and what the nature has done so one single image that is well enough for you to understand where are we as humans so from that uh, this is the real challenge i mean we are facing and we are seeing uh, uh, the real challenge uh, the, uh, uh, these days now the energy, we have a real big energy crisis, not in Sri Lanka, everywhere the world is uh, facing an energy crisis. We need more than, uh, I mean, we need an extra 50% 50, uh, 50 of energy by 2030. It's it's very, very close by food. Again, we need more than 50 uh, uh, within uh, next few years. Water is also the same. So these are the real challenges for engineers to look, not the uh, not the Aragale, not uh, what uh, we are doing these days, but these are the real, real issues. I'm not going to say the Aragali is not really important, but this more than that, we have to look at the long-term strategies to uh, uh, cater things for these 
global issues. So all the, the things which I was talking uh, for these uh, 20, 30 minutes are not computer jilmar. They are really, really happening in the world. So everywhere you can see something and the impact and the frequency is increasing in these natural disasters. So we have to definitely think uh, uh, something new, something innovative, something meant you to face the, the future. If you are really want to be su uh, sustainable, if you are really worrying about the next generation, definitely you have to be innovative or inventive now onwards. Right. Uh, so this is what we were uh, uh, planning. We wanted to go with artificial intelligence, right? Have the have have a robo uh, with uh, with artificially created. So this is what we were expecting. But unfortunately, this is what we have done. Every step we put forward, we destroy the nature. So that is what we are experiencing in different forms: society, the nature, or the politics, or economy, or wherever. This is the basic ground principle which we are encountering, which we are uh, 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 I mean facing these days. So if you don't turn back, this will be the future. So that is where we are, we are heavy, sorry, heading these days. If you don't look back and uh, try to replan, we will be definitely head with a real big disaster. Well, this is very interesting cartoon again from the internet. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, the guy is in our generation. So uh, he spoke to the, he's, uh, he's talking to the, the son he, uh, in, in computer language. So he, he talked to son and said, Please go to your settings. You go to the uh, display settings. Please reduce your brightness level. It, it's it's too much. It's it's really hot for me to stay. Then the sun uh, replies, and he says, "I mean, I haven't done any changes to my settings. You go to your settings. You increase the number of trees. Reduce the the concrete jungles, right? There's a big list. Uh, the sun has uh, proposed at the end of the uh, uh, the conversation. Sun says, please shift to your human mood." from your tomb with very sharp message to all the human uh, living creatures, all the humans, 7.8 popu billion population in the, in the world, you need to shift to your human mode from your tomb. You are not a uh, human, I mean, working as a human anymore, you are automated. You need to shift to your uh, human mode very soon. Otherwise, you are heading for a real big disaster. This is exactly what we were uh, now experiencing these days, we we lost we we forget the uh, the real uh, the base or uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the, uh, the base of the the country base of the the society, and we are heading for a big disaster. And we were experiencing for the last few uh, months uh, as, as as Sri Lankans. So uh, this is uh, I mean this is the the real big message I wanted to give you, and that is why we need to be very sustainable and we are very innovative and also very inventive so i was i was basically uh, talking about two different terms which uh, sometimes i mean i was i was uh, i always had a very hard uh, time with uh, my former minister ministress uh, about this particular term i mean uh, in, uh, when i was uh, heading the the, the so called inventors commission uh, my ministry my, my ministry was uh, the science uh, the innovation uh, uh, ministry so in singular uh, uh, the ministry uh, was called as Nama Nipayum and English it was innovation. So Nama Nipayum means invention, uh, innovation is uh, So there's a big difference between invention and innovation. I tried my level best to change the ministry name, but it's all politics. So I, I, uh, they were, they were love to uh, have the uh, the beauty of the word, not the real meaning of the word. But unfortunately, I couldn't change the uh, the name of the ministry. Other uh, than leaving the ministry, so that's a different story. But anyway, I, uh, let me uh, let me uh, tell you the difference between the the two uh, definitions or two two beautiful terms. This way, this particular cartoon, I'm very sure you are very much family. If you are not uh, a fan of uh, this uh, uh, Rude Runner cartoon, I was a very fan of uh, this Rude Runner cartoon at, at my childhood. So, uh, throughout this particular Rude Runner cartoon, if you can remember the people who. Uh, and uh, you can recall this the roadrunner card. The, uh, the fox was behind the roadrunner. The, the will will take the fox. So the the behind the uh, the roadrunner, and uh, he was inventing various uh, inventions. Sometimes he he invent rockets which uh, uh, flies parallel uh, to the earth. And you can look at this. I mean, there's another invention. So come up with a lot of inventions. But throughout my uh, the entire. Uh, uh, this uh, cartoon series, 
I never saw the fox catching the, the road runner. So the uh, the fox is a real inventor, but he is not an innovator. Right now you can see the difference between invention and innovation. Invention is something which is very new, which is very new, and it is not there in the world. So that is a novel idea. It's an invention. That's an invention. But the innovation is you need to achieve the target of what you are planning with the invention. If you can't achieve uh, the intended uh, uh, the target with the the creation, that is not an you know innovation. So let's say you uh, you create something uh, for something else, and later uh, uh, that applies for some other application. So that is that cannot be taken as a innovation. You need to have at least one uh, user if you are going to convert invention to an innovation level. So that's the difference between invention and innovation. I told you throughout my uh, uh, the the, uh, the cartoon series, I never saw uh, the fox uh, uh, catching the uh, the road runner, but recently I saw in the internet uh, the fox managed to catch the uh, uh, the road runner but again it's an accident you can see he was he was inventing something and that was an accident happened you can see what is happening right that was an accident and unfortunately the road runner was uh, passing there and got caught so uh, again that is not an invention because that was an accident it was it, it it's it's not really an innovation it's an invention maybe an invention so I hope you will be able to understand the difference between invention and innovation. And, and also don't ever think the invention is the rocket science. There are very sophisticated technologies available and they are again invention, but they we don't need to be very sophisticated to come up with an invention. Let me come up with, a, uh, come up with two uh, great inventions from the world history. Number one is uh, I, I picked this, uh, uh, the wall plug. The, uh, the author is a person who has invented this wall plug. I mean, he is a very great inventor. Uh, I mean, very, uh, I, I could say he is the, uh, the best inventor uh, uh, in the world. He has more than a thousand uh, the, the patents and uh, he, has, uh, he has converted the, some of many of these inventions to innovation level. This is one of them. You can see the, the, pre, the, the, the old wall plug was a, a cylindrical one. He just uh, changed the shape of the, uh, uh, the cylindrical wall plug and managed to uh, uh, fix uh, the nail to the wall. So that is a, a very big uh, invention uh, uh, in, in the world history. Let me show you another uh, big uh, uh, invention happened, uh, this Velcro uh, uh, strip and uh, both uh, George and his dog uh, are uh, responsible for this particular beautiful invention. George was uh, supposed to uh, have a morning walk with the dog. So he, he goes in uh, these uh, jungle routes and every, every day, when uh, George come back to uh, come back home, he has to remove uh, uh, these, uh, uh, I mean, seeds uh, which are uh, stuck uh, to a uh, dog's uh, 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 velvet, uh, the, the cushion. So then uh, he, I mean, when he was re removing, he realized uh, the seed has a very strong uh, projection and the, uh, the dog wool is uh, very soft. So when you, uh, when you put a, a strong wool with a uh, sm smooth wool, they can stick together. So that was the uh, the, uh, the inspiration the George got to create this Velcro. So every time you use a wall plug or Velcro uh, the sheet, you're paying the royal to do uh, royalty to uh, these two gentlemen. So like this, there are a lot of inventions in the in around the world, even in Sri Lanka, which are very simple ideas, but they were billions dollar billions of worth in uh, the things for years and years. You pay the royalty without knowing. So these are. I mean, these are two examples which uh, started from a very creative idea. Being very open-minded people, they they check, uh, they they inspired the stuff from the nature, and they got the idea, they developed it, and the, from the invention, they converted that to innovation. And everybody around the globe, we use these inventions. So uh, this is uh, for you to understand the difference between invention and innovation, and what sort of the inventions can go to the international level. Uh, I don't want to be a uh, uh, single link and cutting cutting bottle in the minute. I don't want to be uh, such a person. So let me uh, come up with uh, some uh, examples from my uh, uh, my end as well. Because I was in, uh, introduced saying I, I have eight patents. Actually, the number is more than uh, more than that. Uh, double the numbers now. But anyway, uh, let me show you some of the examples from the from my inventions uh, for you to get some idea about what an invention and how can how can how how you can. Uh, 
inspire and convert that to a innovation level. Uh, well, if someone asks uh, uh, who's Rangik and what uh, what I'm doing, I could explain myself in uh, in this particular uh, small image. So I'm a person. I mean, not that you know, I'm, I'm a person who I love to have have a bath this way. But the idea is different. So always, I I I I, I try to get the uh, the problem and try to solve it in a in a natural or a, a, a near natural way. When I mean, everybody busy with uh, the mobile phone, I love to be with the nature. So that's that's the difference between me and many of us. Uh, who are around me. So in, in very nutshell, if I explain myself, I will be able to explain the whole story with this small music. Yeah. So I get the, the natural uh, uh, the stuff, give the, uh, the natural beat from, I'm not a, a musician at all, but uh, this is exactly what I was doing uh, in my life. So always I love to be uh, with the nature get the inspiration from the nature and try to be productive and try to come up with some creative idea. So this is exactly what I was doing. If I take you to the, my uh, uh, first painting, the inspiration was basically from Vespabi, Ran Kumbala. So uh, the Vespabi, if you closely look at uh, what Vespabi is doing, he get the, the clay, he mix the clay with his saliva and make a thin wall. And this particular, uh, the nest will last only for one particular generation. Lay the egg, Take the, uh, the the kids out. That's the abandon. Uh, this will, uh, this uh, the the house will or home will go back to the nature again, and he will create another another house. So that was the inspiration for me to come up with the uh, the mud concrete block. That was my first patent. I mean, not really me. It's a it's a full term yeah, team working together. I'll come up with my team later. And uh, the inspiration is again from the the beautiful three houses which I have uh, put at the at the bottom of the slide. So if I if someone asks what are the, what is the most comfortable uh, house or the home in the world in the world for me it's not a seven star uh, uh, luxury room the house is this way very comfortable I don't know how many of you have visited and experienced this particular comfort in a in a in, in a house like this very comfortable from that particular inspiration I started uh, working on or rather my team was started working on uh, the mud concrete block. And we created the mud concrete block, and we never stop at that particular point. That is a, that is another big uh, uh, lesson uh, you need to learn. If you want to be innovative or if you want to be creative, never stop at uh, with one invention. So uh, if you compare the the run kubala versus this uh, this beautiful bird, you will you will see both are using the clay, uh, uh, wet clay, right? But uh, the bird is uh, slightly different to run kumbala. He is uh, he's uh, he he mix the clay with some fiber. You can clearly see uh, his the uh, the fibers are there, and he make a strong nest than the run kumbala. So that was another inspiration. So I uh, started working with uh, natural uh, fibers, artificial fi fibers, industry waste. I'm I'm a person who loves to be with circular economy than linear economy, right? So uh, from Dawul Purundu to the finest resins. I mean, we have tried a lot of resins. And my, we managed to secure about four patents uh, on the uh, on the, uh, the, uh, whole, the whole process. So uh, finally, uh, those not uh, stop at the the invention level that was converted to innovation level and went to the market. So all these creatures were made out of our inventions. And the team is not uh, sing, I mean, not uh, me, not civil engineers. You can see there are uh, the agri technologies. You have uh, architects. You have civil engineers, so once you put them all together, you can come up with a nice big team. So uh, the the team will definitely help you to uh, uh, come up with very good uh, creative ideas. And uh, uh, the next step, uh, this another uh, interesting uh, inspiration I received in my life, this uh, the, the termite nest. I uh, to tell you, I mean that is the best uh, uh, naturally ventilated, uh, uh, comfortable space in the world, the best uh, the space. So that particular inspiration from there. We managed to create a, a, a natural air conditioning system for building. So you can see the see a clear, clear image uh, of uh, uh, the structure. So we we have done a lot of testing and we managed to secure the patent for this thing. We recently completed the PhD uh, with one uh, architecture student uh, with me. So uh, we created a panel, uh, a perforated panel, which can uh, we which the air can flow, and uh, uh, with that we can create structural cooling inside and we can lower the uh, the indoor uh, uh, indoor temperature like what you can see in the termite nest so the termite nest uh, gave me the inspiration and again uh, from there 
uh, uh, catapult powder Zigri, I don't I don't think we we need to explain have any any different new explanations uh, for these beautiful places. Uh, the catapult powder you can see still you have you can see the uh, the reflection you can see the, the 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 smoothness you can feel the smoothness if you if you ever visit to Zigri. So from the uh, the Indo uh, uh, the the uh, active the passive air conditioning system to this one. You may wonder why I have, uh, I mean, shifted from there to this. The reason is we wanted to uh, the the re, uh, I mean, uh, uh, decode the same uh, the history and uh, to create the same catapult powder. So we were working on it uh, as a, as a team. So uh, King Kashyap wanted to have a reflective uh, uh, wall on his uh, left hand side when he was working on this particular wall. Where the right hand side you have beautiful uh, Sigiri ladies, uh, the paintings. So he wanted to have the same reflection. So I wanted to create the same or imitate the same thing and created the same uh, uh, the catapult powder, the mirror wall uh, using modern day materials. So I started with a uh, lot of uh, 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 industrial waste, natural uh, materials. And finally, we managed to uh, get the uh, get the same appearance with waste. This is a uh, water, water alum sludge from the water treatment uh, process. So we managed to get the same finish from a waste through the circular economy and you can see how the conversion has happened very recently this year we won the Ecovation award uh, uh, for this particular uh, product my team so uh, from that uh, to another thing i mean uh, you, uh, the soil we never stopped at uh, finishing up uh, uh, that with uh, uh, the mud concrete block we tried with uh, flooring you can see the beautiful flooring inside and outside i mean people talked about uh, uh, the paving blocks so we created uh, uh, pavings uh, uh, using mud and also the in the into you can see the the top uh, video it's uh, uh, inside of a house uh, 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 cottage and uh, that flow was uh, done with uh, 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 the, the soil and both these uh, inventions were uh, uh, done by uh, the one ND student who recently uh, completed uh, her PhD with me. So the, the paving block uh, was uh, a messy and the uh, uh, mud concrete uh, flooring was her PhD. So, uh, 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 I mean, I always uh, love to work in, uh, uh, work in a team with uh, different expert uh, uh, or different uh, knowledge pools. Uh, and uh, we didn't stop at that particular point. We, we tried to come up with different uh, structures uh, with soil. And we did a lot of computer the simulations, finite element simulations, and finally we managed to came up with uh, the slabs without reinforcement using soil. So again, for these uh, uh, inventions, the matter or uh, the what matters was the team. So you can see the team. You can see one uh, one proud uh, uh, product of your. Uh, I am very sure she is a member of uh, uh, IESL, uh, uh, uh Harsha. Now she is a doc. She is Dr. Harsha doing good in. Uh, uh, academic field now, uh, and she uh, she contributed a lot uh, on uh, these developments. So uh, from that, I'm moving to another uh, uh, area. You can see I, I have never uh, stick to one particular area. The timber, uh, three uh, great uh, uh, structures from the history: Kim Parakram Bahu's uh, palace to Ambakya uh, uh, Devale to Saman Devale. So the reason behind uh, uh, showing these structures is the uh, this, uh, the timber log which you can see uh, at your left hand side. This timber lock was a uh, uh, gifted or rather, I mean, I could say it's it's a gifted. It's It was gifted by, to me uh, from someone Devalaya. Uh, when I was passing uh, that place, I saw uh, they are renovating the roof. I wanted to get a piece of uh, uh, the, the old uh, timber and I uh, managed to get uh, this big timber lock thanks to the uh, the people who uh, did the renovation. So, I mean, that's a different story, but uh, the idea is, I mean, I, I, I felt uh, Saman Dewal is more than uh, 700 years old, but the still uh, the timber is surviving. So what is the, what is the, the, the magic behind this? You know, the, the timber we use these days, 10, 15 years, we had to replace it, even with the modern timber treatment techniques. But this particular timber uh, survived for more than 700 years. Wonderful, marvelous. So we, I wanted to, or rather we wanted to decode the, uh, uh, the technology. So we were uh, start studying about these all structures and uh, I wanted to uh, uh, create my team. I'm not a timber expert. I know, I, I mean, you know that I, I was working with uh, mud and clay. So I wanted to uh, uh, build up my team and the team was very amazing. And uh, I started uh, talking to my good, uh, uh, two good friends, uh, one uh, uh, Raj Somadeva and Manju. 
So the, the I wanted to have the, the nanotechnology into the other uh, the picture. I wanted to bring the technology uh, into the picture. I wanted to bring the timber technology the, the, uh, into the picture. So I got Hiran uh, uh, to the the the, the, uh, uh, the project. Raj is a famous archaeologist. I wanted him to uh, in the in the team because these more archaeological structures and the student is very much important. She is not an engineer. She is not a uh, science uh, science uh, uh, postgraduate student. She is a designer. So she's, uh, she was uh, dealing with uh, uh, timber structures or timber, uh, the furniture. So we handpicked the student and we managed to end up with uh, two patents. And we are about to uh, file a PCT. Uh, in a few days, we'll be able to get the PCT done for this particular product. And it goes to the international patenting after that. So that is what is going to happen if you create a good team. So this particular timber treatment is from uh, uh, leaf extract. And that is much better than the modern uh, timber treatment techniques with respect to termite attacks and with respect to mold growth, this uh, Pustadeneka. So all these things were, uh, 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 I mean, basically results of the beautiful team I had with. So that was not the end of the story. Um, very recently, we started working on, on coral, not really recently. Uh, three years ago, we started these projects uh, uh, starting uh, re uh, restoration of these coral reefs. The team is again very big. Uh, we have a few uh, international uh, uh, experts uh, who are very well known uh, internationally working with me these days uh, on these projects. We have some international students working with these projects. All these things carries uh, dollars to Sri Lanka. So uh, we have uh, we have few uh, uh, areas on this particular research. I mean, I, I, I'm taking this uh, uh, to show you you don't need to be a uh, be an academia uh, to come up with uh, inventions. What you need is to have uh, have the creative idea. So many of the uh, the partners here are from the industry. So we have uh, four uh, areas uh, uh, going together. One is coral uh, rubber stabilization. You know, you, you when you are traveling to Hikadu and Polhena, you may have seen these all dead corals. We are trying to stable them using uh, some adhesives. That is one uh, uh, research area. The other one is. Uh, uh, material development on these coral plates. So what we do is, I'll show you with uh, what we do with these coral plates, uh, and we are we are trying uh, for a few patents on these things and the artificial reef structures. We are going to create. Uh, we have done a uh, few structures and they are in the in the field now. So we have created structures and uh, uh, we have secured uh, uh, the design patents for these things. And the last one is coral transplantation and uh, the maintenance of these corals. So four different areas under one big flag and uh, one big flag that at the University of Moritua. So the coral rubble stabilization, what we do is we get the, we collect the coral rubble, which is there in the seashore and also yeah, in, the, in, the, in, in, in the water, we have coral rubble. What we do is inside the water, underwater, we try to uh, stable them and make them as one single rock and uh, we use them uh, to plant the, the, the corals. And uh, even the, the corals in the, the seashore, we collect them, we put them into, uh, we, we make them blo blocks and uh, we uh, tra uh, transfer them to the, the field. So that is uh, one side of the, uh, the research. The other one is uh, the development of these uh, coral plates. We are, we are trying to rely on uh, uh, waste materials. Uh, this is one waste material, the tile manufacturing. So we get the, uh, uh, the sludge from that and we uh, converted that to coral plates. And these coral plates are about two inch by two inch. So there we plant the coral. We, we nature them, we nurture them at the, uh, the laboratory level uh, with a small tiny coral piece. We plant them and we let them to grow to about uh, uh, five to six inch and we transfer them to the field uh, after four or five months. So that is about the, the, coral, uh, the, the coral plate development. Uh, we, are, we are trying to secure a few uh, patents on uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this research idea. The other one is uh, the structural development. So we create, I mean, some of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the reef bottom is not that stable. So we are trying to create uh, that's, uh, different uh, shapes, structures. We have secure uh, the industrial designs or the design patents for these, uh, these structures. And they are in the field at the moment for more than three years. And we are uh, observing uh, how they are performing uh, with, I mean, people will be able to ac accept uh, any, any, uh, any artificial uh, development, but the acceptance of the nature of these artificial creatures is very, very, I mean, complicated and complex. So we are trying with different shapes and we change them until you can see a, a fish has already accepted our, uh, our, our structure. So this is very complex uh, process. And all these things are bringing dollars to this beautiful 
surplus country. And the last one is uh, you can see the coral plate, which I was uh, choking. You can see the tiny uh, coral pieces. I, they are about half into one inch. We get the, the broken uh, corals from the, the beaches. We collect them and we cut them into small pieces and we plant them on, on these uh, the coral uh, plates and uh, we nurture them at the, uh, the coral uh, uh, tanks uh, for about uh, five to six months. And when they become about uh, five, six, six inch uh, size, uh, we uh, we take them and we uh, we uh, we plant them in the field. So you can see uh, the process uh, we are doing, and this is exactly I, I showed you at uh, at my first as my first slide. So you can see the uh, the big uh, the broken uh, coral uh, part uh, pieces from the the beach. We get them uh, to the the lab. We plant them on the uh, the coral plate, and uh, we nature them uh, nurture them uh, in the in the in the tanks coral tanks at very uh, very uh, I mean very sophisticated. Uh, control uh, stages and we uh, again take them back to the, the field and create big uh, coral reefs. So that is what we are doing with uh, the current, uh, I mean, you can see I was I was jumping from one to the other, one to the other. It's not, uh, if you are to uh, become a, a innovative uh, uh, a person, don't try to stick with one idea, always try to jump from one to the other. Well, uh, this is uh, the message I wanted to give you. I mean, if you, uh, if you know who you are, you will be able to plan your future. If you don't know who you are, if you don't know where you are now, you'll not be able to plan stuff. So I know who am I, I know where am I. So it's easy for me to build my career from there. You may have seen me as a very successful person, but uh, uh, behind me, there are a lot of failures. So I'm, I, I, you, I mean, I'm not a person who come from the moon. So I, I have a lot of failures, but I always work uh, with the end goal. And finally, I managed to come to you, come in front of you and uh, present the, the, the whole case as a uh, successful person. So uh, try, try, try until you become successful. I mean, that the failure is never, never a, a real failure. Failure is the first attempt uh, of learning. So I have, I have learned this uh, many times in my life. So uh, uh, one, uh, one last example uh, from, the, from the world. Uh, this was Okinawa Beach in 2014. Um, they found the entire beach it has dug, uh, it has become a dead coral reef, and uh, they started planting uh, uh, corals in uh, 2014. Uh, that is exactly what I'm doing uh, these days in a different, uh, using a different technique. That was 2014. You can see 2020 by 2022, it has become a real big coral thick jungle. If you do the right thing with the right team, with the right time, with a right uh, uh, direction and a scope. You can become a successful person. Thank you very much. This particular smiles actually. This is not my parent. This is not my grandparent. But uh, this smile uh, was brought me here. Uh, this was about. This was I think uh, uh, six years ago. We we created uh, houses for more affected people uh, in north and northeast. And uh, this smile. I mean this genuine smile brought me here. I'm very sure. I'm very grateful to uh, these people and they know, I'm very sure I know they are grateful to me as well. Thank you very much.